Hello guys welcome back to our anime moments. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Renegade Immortal based on novel. So let's start. After Wang Lin became a soul devourer, he had lost all the emotions a mortal would have. He was cold and heartless. When he was about to order the wandering souls to assault again, he felt through a wandering soul he controlled that a violent fluctuation of the soul was coming toward him from the northwest. Shortly after, the wandering soul under his control used a special technique to transmit what it was seeing to Wang Lin, this, this is. Hunchback Meng. Wang Lin was surprised, while Hunchback Meng had changed a lot, Wang Lin could still tell that this demon was indeed him. Wang Lin retracted his divine sense to prevent an attack on him through it and sent a message to ancient emperor through divine sense, hand over the inheritance treasure, ancient emperor was stunned. Even when he came here a thousand years ago, he had never seen any of these creatures communicate with divine sense. But he quickly reacted and replied with his divine sense, say. Seniors, I don't know what inheritance treasure you are talking about. After ancient emperor finished talking, he was bitter in his heart. After becoming a soul formation expert, he hadn't had to call anyone senior. When he said that word, he felt bitter. Suddenly he said, Senior, if you are looking for the inheritance treasure of the land of the ancient gods, then you have came looking for the wrong person. It is in the possession of someone called Six Desire Devil Lord. Wang Lin pondered a little and felt the strong fluctuation of soul coming closer. Wang Lin used the wandering souls under his control to get a good grasp of the distance between them. While Wang Lin was talking to ancient emperor, he was controlling the wandering souls to block its path. However, Hunchback Wang's body was very strange, and no matter how many wandering souls attacked it, they weren't able to inflict even a tiny bit of damage. This surprised Wang Lin. Wang Lin didn't believe ancient emperor when he said that the inheritance treasure was not with him, but with six desired devil lord. Even if what he said was true, the likes of ancient emperor and the others wouldn't so carelessly enter the land of the ancient gods, or else they'd be at the complete mercy of the six desired devil lord. After all, he held the key to entering and exiting this place. In regards to the inheritance treasure, Wang Lin first heard it from Duan Mu and the others, but they weren't willing to keep talking about it. It wasn't until later that Wang Lin figured it out. Ancient Emperor was willing to fight the Six Desired Devil Lord in the second trial. He must have his secrets. Wang Lin ordered the surrounding wandering souls to begin the assault again. Ancient Emperor gritted his teeth as he sent another message with his divine sense. This old man doesn't have the inheritance treasures, but when I came here years ago, I received a fragment of the inheritance treasure. This fragment contains a spell that would create a passage out of here. However, it can only be used at the exit whirlpool in each realm to be teleported out of the land of the ancient gods, or else I wouldn't be stuck here. As for the fragment, I destroyed it after I learned the technique. What ancient emperor said was true. A thousand years ago he was one of the stronger experts, so he naturally saw the inheritance treasure and learned of the method it used to leave this place. That was how he was able to escape this place a thousand years ago and why he still dared to come back. There weren't many that received this spell back then, however, the reason why almost no one was able to escape was because of the limitation to use this spell. One must be at an exit whirlpool for it to work. Many of the people who passed the first and second trials didn't even think about exiting the land of the ancient gods, because they didn't want to waste all their effort. As a result, they gave up the chance to use the exit whirlpool in the second trial, but the third trial was fast, and finding the exit was like finding a needle in a haystack. Also, because of the fear of all the wandering souls, no one dared to spread their divine sense out too far, making the search for the exit even harder. This spell must specifically be used at an exit whirlpool. If it was used at an entry whirlpool, there would be no effect. Back at the exit of the second trial, ancient emperor didn't have enough time to use the spell on the exit whirlpool there, and was forced into the third trial if you just take me to the exit of the third trial I'll teach you the spell in exchange. Ancient emperor looked calm, but in his heart, he was secretly trying to figure out why this person wanted this. Although he didn't know why, he had to give a response, or the wandering souls would keep attacking. At that point, the only road left was death. Wang Lin didn't respond anymore. He sent out his divine sense and, once again, all the surrounding wandering souls started to attack. Wang Lin carefully calculated. Based on the information from the wandering souls, Hunchback Meng should arrive here in the time that it takes for two incense sticks to burn. The attacks of the wandering souls grew more intense under Wang Lin's command. To help speed things up, Wang Lin spread out his divine sense to call more wandering souls to join the attack. Ancient Emperor's face paled. 
he guessed that what he said before wasn't what this person wanted to hear. He gritted his teeth and swallowed a few more pills to keep the light going. But the attacks from the wandering souls were endless. At the most critical moment, Ancient Emperor sent out another message with his divine sense, I'll give you the spell. Please tell these strange creatures to stop attacking, Ancient Emperor quickly took out a piece of jade and placed it on his forehead for a while. Then he held it tightly in his hand while looking at his surroundings. After enough time for one incense stick to burn past, Wang Lin sent out his divine sense and all the wandering souls stopped their attacks. Ancient Emperor relaxed a bit. He hesitated a little and gritted his teeth. He then sent the jade outside the range of the light. The moment the piece of jade flew out, Wang Lin immediately picked it up with his soul. He scanned the piece of jade and found that it contained very detailed instructions for the spell. Ancient Emperor became very nervous after throwing out the piece of jade. He was afraid that after this person received the piece of jade, they still wouldn't let him go. Wang Lin silently pondered a little, then all the surrounding wandering souls pounced toward Ancient Emperor and resumed their attack. Ancient Emperor displayed a depressed smile. He revealed a poisonous expression and started to use up his own spiritual energy like crazy to maintain the light of the pagoda. But the amount of wandering souls attacking was simply too great. Soon, the pagoda started to shake. Then, with a bang, a rift appeared on the pagoda, splitting it in two. At that moment, Ancient Emperor's body suddenly moved and disappeared without a trace. Ten feet away, Ancient Emperor let out a miserable cry and revealed himself. Countless wandering souls pounced on him and started to quickly consume him. At the same time, a wandering soul came out from Ancient Emperor's body, carrying a bag of holding. Wang Lin took the bag after the wandering soul delivered it to him and hastily left. This time, he didn't go look for the other people, but went back to where his body was hiding. In the empty space, Ancient Emperor's body was shrinking, his face ashen. His nascent soul kept spitting out origin fire to prevent the wandering souls from devouring him, however, he was only able to stall for time and not drive them away. Even if his life-saving magic treasure wasn't broken or if his cultivation was still at the mid-stage of soul formation, he still couldn't deal with so many wandering souls trying to devour him. Soon after Wang Lin left, Hunchback Meng arrived. His body was moving like a shooting star. He glanced at Ancient Emperor and his brow wrinkled. The disgusting smell was no longer here. When he was about to follow it, he suddenly stopped and he looked at Ancient Emperor. A thought darted through his mind. He reached out and grabbed Ancient Emperor's shriveled up body in his hands, then shook Ancient Emperor until all the wandering souls were ejected out of his body. After all the wandering souls were removed from Ancient Emperor's body, with a cold smile on his face, the demon tore a hole through space and threw Ancient Emperor inside. After the rift appeared, one could clearly see the other side was a blood-red world. The ground was covered in a thick layer of blood, and even though the sky was also blood-red, like a piece of blue cloth soaked in blood. Red Fire Devil Lord was killed in the second trial. Ancient Emperor personally saw his body destroyed by the purple lightning. Red Fire Devil Lord's nascent soul didn't even have time to escape. There was also unbeatable Southern Madman who was swarmed by tens of thousands of those strange creatures and died in less time than it takes for half an incense stick to burn. As for Sky Devil Magician, who was the master of Six Desire Devil Lord, Ancient Emperor followed him closely a thousand years ago. He personally saw him create a tunnel using the inheritance treasure to leave before he was attacked by a very unusual divine sense and died instantly. Having seen all these people who were supposed to be dead here, he couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart. Suddenly, he turned his head, and he saw a demon that looked like Hunchback Meng through the rift Hunchback Meng. Ancient Emperor's pupils shrank. The rift closed in that moment. Ancient Emperor was very cautious. While this place was full of cultivators, it was very clear that all these people were ones who had died in the land of the ancient gods in all those years. A hoarse voice floated in from the distance. Welcome to the blood sea of the demon god. Wang Lin's speed was very high. After a short while, he could cross this third trial. But halfway through, he stopped and noticed the change of ancient emperor's location through his connection with the wandering souls. He saw hunchback Meng open the rift and ancient emperor being tossed in. Even the red light that came out from the rift was seen by Wang Lin through the wandering souls. Wang Lin pondered a little. While he possessed the jade piece with the spell to leave here, he didn't know if ancient emperor tempered with it or not. To be safe, he was going to seek out Duanmu, Wang Qingyu, and Six Desire Devil Lord and ask them about the method to leave in the same manner. But the appearance of Hunchback Meng and the red light from the rift caused Wang Lin to have a terrible feeling. 
he gave up looking for the likes of Duanmu and Wang Qingyu and decided to retreat to where his body was hidden. On the way back, he was keeping track of Hunchback Meng's location with the wandering souls. He noticed that Hunchback Meng wasn't going toward him, but toward Duanmu and Wang Qingyu. Wang Lin increased his speed and quickly returned to his body. When the devil Shuligua and the second devil noticed Wang Lin's return, they immediately flew out from the rock. Wang Lin quickly used his divine consciousness and returned into this physical body. After a short while, his eyes opened. During this trip, his soul had increased greatly. He moved his body and went outside the rock. Without any hesitation, he headed toward the location of the fourth realm. Wang Lin's face was gloomy. The appearance of Hunchback Meng disrupted his plans, and it gave him sense of horror. More importantly, Hunchback Meng was immune to the attacks of the wandering souls. That was the main reason why Wang Lin decided to leave the third trial as soon as possible. Wang Lin knew that in terms of cultivation, he was simply far too weak compared to these old-timers. If it wasn't for the fact that this place contained a lot of wandering souls, he wouldn't be able to compete with them at all. He wouldn't even have the qualifications to chat with them. Now that the wandering souls were useless against Hunchback Meng, Wang Lin had lost his only advantage. If they were to meet, the only road for him was death. Hunchback Meng would only have to wave his hand to make Wang Lin disappear like smoke. Wang Lin understood his own limits very well. Although this whole time he had the upper hand, in reality, he knew that the reason for this was he was able to borrow outside force to help. If Hunchback Meng was surrounded by the storm like back then, he wouldn't even have as much of a chance as a drowning dog. But now the external force was gone and both of them had the same starting point. No matter how brave Wang Lin was, he had no choice but to leave immediately. Wang Lin was never a foolish person. Once he made his decision, he hurriedly flew toward the exit of the third trial. Along the way, he didn't even bother to devour any more wandering souls. He quickly rushed forward. If Wang Lin was to give up his physical body and travel with just his soul, his speed would be many times greater than it was now, that's why he left his body to travel the third trial earlier. The demon's head was full of bone thorns. It had an evil aura around it that caused people to tremble in fear. Wang Lin's face showed his uncertainty. He retrieved the devil Shuligua and the second devil. Then he took a large gulp of spiritual energy liquid and used all his linked chi to quickly leave. He could already feel that the demon-like hunchback Meng was already pursuing him at an extreme speed. Wang Lin traveled quickly the whole way. His face was sullen as he was calculating. If they both travel at the current speed, he should be able to arrive at the whirlpool to the fourth realm before hunchback Meng caught up. Just then, the demon-like hunchback Meng used some strange method Wang Ling didn't know of. Hunchback Meng covered his body in a blood-red light and his speed increased by several times. As the distance between them got shorter, Hunchback Meng's speed not only didn't decrease, but increased. Wang Lin's heart sunk when he realized that if it continued this way, Hunchback Meng would catch up to him in less time than it takes for one stick of incense to burn. It was going to take him at least the time it takes for two sticks of incense to burn to reach the exit. Wang Lin swept the surroundings with this divine sense, using the the wandering souls around to quickly scan the area. His eyes were glued in one direction as he was thinking of a very bold move. He hesitated a little, then without hesitation, he slightly changed this direction and quickly fled that way. Six Desire Devil Lord was very frustrated. In the third trial, he didn't dare to spread his divine sense too far, so he still hadn't found the exit. After all these years, he had determined that the exit is to the northwest. In fact, he found out that the exit was there two years ago, but the number of wandering souls there was simply too many for him to handle, even with his magical treasure so he had spent the past two years slowly luring some away to slowly whittle down their numbers before proceeding forward. The speed would be very slow, but it would guarantee his success. It was only a matter of time before he entered the fourth realm portal and was teleported to the ancient god's body. He had just lured a large number of wandering souls and was about to destroy them all using the youth's body when his expression changed. While he didn't dare to spread out his divine sense too far, he still knew of everything that happened within 1,000 feet. Six Desire Devil Lord noticed a youth coming toward the 1,000 feet range. He was immediately stunned when he saw the person and then grinned shouting, he delivered himself to me. Wang Lin coldly stared at Six Desire Devil Lord. Instead of slowing down, he sped up. Immediately, a large number of wandering souls appeared around Wang Lin. They stayed around him like bodyguards. When Six Desire Devil Lord was about to act, he suddenly stopped. 
he frowned as he stared at the wandering souls around Wang Lin, causing a sense of horror in his heart. These strange creatures that forced him to be very wary and cautious were not only not harming this junior, but also protecting him. This shocked him greatly. Six Desire Devil Lord frowned. As he was reflecting on the situation, his face suddenly paled. He saw a blood-red meteor charging at him. In the blink of an eye, it was already about 1,000 feet from Six Desire Devil Lord. Hunchback Meng's large demonic figure was revealed, You, you are the Hunchback Meng. You, you ate a soul transformation pill? Six Desire Devil Lord's pupils shrank. He noticed from the pressure released from Hunchback Meng that he was already at the late stage of soul formation, and was only one step away from soul transformation. The only way to reach this level of cultivation was to consume a soul transformation pill. However, Six Desire Devil Lord immediately moved the youth's body in front of him and turned it horizontal. Staring at Hunchback Meng he said, it's not caused by a soul transformation pill. What did you eat to transform like this? Hunchback Meng stared at Six Desire Devil Lord with his large eyes. The person in front of him felt very familiar. In fact, it was not the first time he had felt this. When he saw Ancient Emperor, Duanmu, and Wang Qingyu, they all gave him a very familiar feeling. However, no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't remember anything at all. He quickly threw that sensation to the back of his head. He let out a cruel smile and said, My name is not Hunchback Meng, it's Demon God Tu Sai. As he was talking, he swiped his bone thorn covered right hand at the empty space and created a large rift. As the rift suddenly appeared, waves of red light came out of it. Soon after, a ten foot tall scarlet red figure appeared from the rift, I leave this person to you. I'm going to go after the next one. Hunchback Meng flew away when he finished talking. Six Desire Devil Lord gawked at the person in front of him. He muttered to himself, Master, his black hair flowed behind his head without wind. His face was very handsome and sharp. He looked like a devil, especially with his ruthless expression. His eyes glowed red and stared at Six Desire Devil Lord. After pondering a while, he slowly said, Ye, er, uh, you still remember your teacher. Very good. But my name is now Demon God Tisu. After Six Desire Devil Lord heard those two words, he was shaken in his heart and couldn't believe his eyes. If it was just someone who looked like his master, he would not be so shaken, but this person called him by a nickname only a few knew. Besides his master, Sky Devil Magician, who else could it be? Six Desire Devil Lord took a deep breath. His face was full of uncertainty as he stared at the person in front of him and said, You, you, you a human or a demon? Why were you turned into a demon like Hunchback Meng? Also, a thousand years ago did you, Sky Devil Magician closed his eyes, but quickly reopened them and said, What you wanted to say was that I should have died a thousand years ago, then ask how did I revive, correct? Six Desire Devil Lord was secretly very alarmed. With the appearance of Hunchback Meng and his dead master's resurrection, he felt that this place was simply too weird. He felt a sense of horror in his heart as he knew that there must be some big secret here. His doubt that the land of the ancient gods was not as simple as just him reaching the body of the ancient god and receiving all the treasure within grew. That doubt began a thousand years ago, when his master received the inheritance treasure from the land of the ancient gods and became like a new person. That point had always puzzled him throughout the years, but now, like a bolt of lightning, a very bold speculation appeared in his head I am not possessed. Sky Devil Magician said, while he slowly looked at the direction Hunchback Meng went. Six Desire Devil Lord was surprised within, but his face was calm as he stared at his master and slowly retreated. Sky Devil Lord said, without even looking at Six Desire Devil Lord, retreat ten more steps and I'll be forced to act. Six Desire Devil Lord stopped and whispered, Master, what is all this about? Even if you want to kill this disciple, you have to at least tell me what all this is about. Sky Devil Magician turned and looked at Six Desire Devil Lord. He pondered a little and said, fine there is no harm in telling you. This, before he finished speaking, Six Desire Devil Lord made the youth's body in his hand explode with a bang. Even though the youth had been dead for a while, his blood hadn't dried out yet and it seemed as if he had only just died. As the body exploded, a mist of blood suddenly scattered and instantly walked around Six Desire Devil Lord. His whole body looked like it had fused into the mist of blood and disappeared as he charged toward the exit of the third trial, Blood Desire Escape, very good as expected of my disciple. When things don't look good, he escapes. Sky Devil Magician said with a smile of approval on his face as he looked at the direction Six Desire Devil Lord went. 
all of six desired devil lords techniques were personally taught by him. The cultivation method he taught was the mysterious sky devil cultivation method. People have six innate desires. The cultivation method trained one to control one's own desire, then to use it to influence others' desires for one's own purpose. At that moment Wang Lin was moving quickly to the northwest, toward the exit of the third trial. All the wandering souls in the way automatically moved aside, making a path for him. His body was moving so fast, it was almost a blur. He was getting closer and closer to the exit. As for the life and death of six desired devil lord, Wang Lin didn't have time to care. They hardly knew each other. Whether or not six desired devil lord's death helped him escape was all that mattered. However, what made him disappointed was that, through the wandering souls, he saw the moment that six desired devil lord met his master. And that hunchback Meng only paused for a moment before continuing to chase him. Wang Lin took a deep breath and drank another mouthful of liquid spiritual energy. He waved his right hand and a cold blue fire appeared. He slammed his bag of holding and the poisonous black sword came out, emitting cold pressure. Wang Lin's body became unsteady for a moment as he shot the blue fire and the poisonous black sword backwards, then continued charging forward. The blue fire and the poisonous black sword split apart and charged toward Hunchback Meng from two different directions. As Hunchback Meng chased, he secretly concluded that this was the person that gave off that disgusting smell that he couldn't stand. He was very confused on this matter and acted on impulse with the urge to catch up and rip that person apart to appease his anger. But Hunchback Meng, in his heart, actually admired this person. He could tell that they were only at the mid-stage of core formation and that this person was very crafty. If he started chasing after them, they would immediately escape as fast as possible. What really stunned Hunchback Meng was that all the wandering souls here didn't have any aggression toward this person. Even though this person heedlessly charged through the third trial, they wouldn't attack him. This caused his heart to feel very strange. The only reason he wasn't getting attacked was because his master gave him a magic treasure that devoured souls. But how was the other person doing the same? Hunchback Meng was very confused. He took a deep breath. Then he took a step and quickly rushed forward. However, shortly after he started moving, he immediately felt the blue flame charging at him. He sneered and charged forward even faster. He didn't even bother to dodge and just slammed into it. The blue flame flickered a few times before it exploded into countless ice flame flowers and dissipated. Hunchback Meng sneered and was about to accelerate when his face suddenly changed. Although the ice flame was slowly dissipating, he looked at his chest and noticed that it was blue. There was a layer of ice on his chest. The ice quickly started to spread across Hunchback Meng's body. Hunchback Meng stopped. He looked down and put his right hand on the ice, causing it to crack and stop spreading. At that moment, he noticed a flash in the distance. Following the flash, a weirdly shaped black sword instantly arrived next to Hunchback Meng's shoulder. The flying sword's shape was very odd. There were many tiny blue thorns on the short blade, indicating it contained very poisonous toxins. The moment Hunchback Meng saw the sword, his heart was shaken. He felt a very strong sense of familiarity from the word, as if it was something very important to him. For only a short moment, Hunchback Meng lost concentration, and the sword stabbed into his right shoulder. A ping sound could be heart as the sword made contact. Although the sword's speed was very fast, it was only barely able to pierce Hunchback Meng's skin. But even though it only barely broke the skin, the toxin in the sword started to invade Hunchback Meng's body. Hunchback Meng didn't even bother with the toxin and grabbed the sword. He had a strong feeling that the sword was originally his. With Hunchback Meng's cultivation, catching a flying sword was like child's play. As he reached out with his hand to grab the sword, layers of chi wrapped around the sword, forming a whirlpool that made it unable to escape. Wang Lin was almost at the exit when his face suddenly changed. He noticed the danger that the flying sword was facing. He didn't stop, but both his hands moved rapidly, forming signs, until he finally spat out a mouthful of golden chi. At the same time, the flying sword trapped in the whirlpool of chi felt it and the blue toxin on the sword intensified. What is it? The divine sense sent out a cold message. Hunchback Meng immediately kneeled down when the divine sense came out and said, Master, there is a cultivator who is too close to the exit. I request help. Okay. The divine sense replied. Hunchback Meng immediately charged toward Wang Lin after he heard the reply. He was assured that with the help of the messenger, there was no way this mid-stage core formation kid could make it to the exit. 
the messenger's divine sense quickly scanned the third trial and found Wang Lin and Six Desire Devil Lord. He first focused his divine sense on Six Desire Devil Lord, who was covered in a ray of blood-colored light that increased Six Desire Devil Lord's speed greatly. However, the deeper Six Desire Devil Lord went, the more wandering souls there were. It was more than his treasure could handle. As a result, he was hit by many wandering souls on the way. He relied on his spiritual energy to fight against the wandering souls rampaging within his body. The moment the divine sense appeared, Six Desire Devil Lord was greatly shaken. After finally getting rid of the wandering souls, that abnormal divine sense appeared. He knew that the person's cultivation must be abnormal to send out such a powerful divine sense. After the divine sense scanned Six Desire Devil Lord, it sent out a wave of power that caused the blood red light to fade little by little until it disappeared, revealing Six Desire Devil Lord's horror-filled face, I can't act with the soul devourer around. I can only help you block him, Six Desire Devil Lord, once. After finishing the act, the powerful divine sense sent the message to Sky Devil Magician, who was indifferently chasing after Six Desire Devil Lord. Sky Devil Magician's face was calm. He nodded his head and immediately accelerated forward. Six Desire Devil Lord groaned and gritted his teeth. Without hesitation, he gave up another desire to active the Blood Desire Escape technique again. This time, his body could barely handle the technique, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. The wandering souls in his body started to eat away at him. He gave off a wry smile and charged forward. The Divine Scent scanned Six Desire Devil Lord again, but didn't act this time. After one look, he left. He arrived at the exit to the third trial and saw Wang Lin 1,000 feet from the exit. The Divine Sense sent out a wave targeting Wang Lin. Wang Lin noticed the Divine Sense the moment it appeared. Although it was very powerful, Wang Lin felt a bit strange. He felt like there was something wrong with this Divine Sense. As the Divine Sense attacked Wang Lin, he suddenly realized what was wrong. This Divine Sense didn't belong to a cultivator, but to a wandering soul who was about to become a soul devourer. This was the first time Wang Lin met such a large wandering soul, however, a wandering soul was still a wandering soul. Until it become a soul devourer, no matter how large it was, it's still below a soul devourer. That was still a large gap the wandering soul had to cross. That large wandering soul dared to attack Wang Lin, who was a soul devourer. From Wang Lin's point of view, this large wandering soul was basically a super immortal pill. If Wang Lin could devour him, his soul could not only recover to what it originally was, but even surpass it to an unimaginable degree. At that moment, the wandering soul's attack hit Wang Lin, causing him to be stunned. This surprised the wandering soul greatly, soul devourer. You. You are a soul devourer. The wandering soul exclaimed. Although there was a hint of surprise in his voice, there was also a sense of excitement. Wang Lin had some doubts in his heart, but he started to devour the wandering soul that entered his body. The wandering soul immediately withdrew his divine sense, but a part of him had already been devoured by Wang Lin. Wang Lin licked his lips. He could clearly feel that his Ji realm soul was rapidly increasing, but he felt a bit of regret. If he could have devoured the whole soul, his own soul could have increased much more. After the large soul escaped, it used a complicated method to open a rift and disappear from the third trial. Meanwhile, all the cultivators on the pillars, and even the ones sitting on the blood-soaked ground, immediately looked at him with a look of ecstasy on their faces, Soul Devourer, are you sure? The man's voice was low, but filled with overwhelming majesty. The long-haired man formed by the soul said, Master, I am sure that that person is a Soul Devourer. That person is near the exit of the third trial. If you want to catch him, you must go now, Soul Devourer, the red-haired man's eyes revealed a dull look. He waved his hand, and a rift thousands of feet long appeared, Demon God Tisu, all of you, go catch and that soul devourer and bring him back. The red-haired man said, then looked down again and became silent. After he finished speaking, all the cultivators in the blood sea leaped off their pillars or the ground and disappeared into the rift. The large soul also followed them through the rift. The entire blood sea was suddenly empty. Only the red-haired man remained. He used his red hand and gently wrote a row of small words on the ground I've been sealed in the blood sea of the demon god for tens of thousands of years. Today, I heard of a soul devourer appearing again. My heart is very excited. Next to that row of small words, there were several rows of handwritten words entering the third trial, I immediately realized that this place was a rift connected to the world of decay. After searching, I found the entrance to the world of decay, but didn't enter, this land of the ancient god has been exaggerated by the rumors. 
aside from the third trial being a bit fun, the other realms were very disappointing. I originally wanted to leave, but since I'm here, I might as well check it out, or else I would have just wasted my time. The fourth realm is just a transfer array. The transfer array transfers the person based on the speed they pass the three realm. It is very intricate. After spending a long time studying it, I can now use it to enter any part of the body of the ancient god. How is this the land of the ancient gods? It is clearly a land of the demon gods. The ancient god too Sai, this person really is a cultivator of great wisdom. I greatly admire him, to have come up with this method, I never thought I would be trapped at a place for thousands of years, Wang Lin quickly charged toward the exit. After a short amount of time, he arrived within 30 feet of the exit whirlpool. But as he arrived, directly above the exit of the third trial, a rift thousands of feet long opened. It released a blood-red glow. Wang Lin was shocked, but his face remained calm. He immediately used the technique that ancient emperor had given him on the whirlpool. The moment the rift appeared, he still charged toward the whirlpool. Purple lightning appeared, dragging him into the whirlpool. The moment he entered the whirlpool, Wang Lin clearly saw large demons coming out of the rift, all revealing looks of ecstasy in their eyes as they looked at Wang Lin in the whirlpool. They all charged toward him. Wang Lin's heart skipped a beat. Any one of the demons in the group could destroy Wang Lin with the wave of a hand. With that thought in mind, Wang Lin disappeared into the whirlpool. All the demons followed him without any hesitation. After Wang Lin came out of the whirlpool, he quickly started to escape without pausing. The area was a square plaza with dozens of pillars that reached the sky. In the middle of the pillars was a circular transfer array that was glowing a demonic red light. If one looked closely, they could see that the transfer array was formed by something that looked like blood vessels. Surrounding it were tubes that connected to the transfer array. They looked like they were fueling the array with some dark red liquid. The demon-like red light was emitted by the liquid being supplied into the array. The moment Wang Lin appeared, he scanned the whole area with his divine sense without hesitation. He found out that there were no whirlpool in this area, only the transfer array. Without saying a word, he rushed next to the transfer array, but didn't charge into it. After giving it a look, he took out his poison sword from his bag of holding and broke off ten thorns. The poison sword disappeared back into his bag of holding. He moved his hands to form illusionary circles, then he placed restrictions on the ten thorns. After he finished, he pointed his finger at his brow and spit out a mouthful of golden chi. The golden chi turned to threads as it entered the thorns, the thorns' whole body shook and scattered as they started to spin with the illusionary circles. Shortly after, Wang Lin stepped into the transfer array without any hesitation. The moment his body entered the transfer array, a ray of red light shot out from the side and covered the entire transfer array. At that moment, the illusionary circles Wang Lin had left behind scattered in all directions and created restrictions that surrounded the entire transfer array. Following the sudden movement of the illusionary circles, the thorns quickly flew at the transfer array, pierced into the blood vessels, and spread their toxin into them. After an instant, the entire array no longer emitted a red light, but a black light, however, that black light didn't last long and slowly turned red again. At the same time, at the entrance of the fourth realm, many demons from the Blood Sea appeared and quickly arrived next to the transfer array. One of the demon cultivators looked at the array once and said, the array has been destroyed. It will take three hours to recover. In three hours, we will split up for the search. This time, we must capture him alive. Wang Lin felt like his soul and his body were separated. Soon after, he clearly noticed his body was surrounded by an invisible force that pulled him toward a whirlpool. That whole time, he felt like his body disappear and only his divine sense remained. He didn't know how long it had been. Suddenly, the force around his body disappeared as he slowly regained control of his body. When he opened his eyes, he saw a blue world. This was a very strange place. The sky was blue and so was the ground. It could be said that this world had no ground, only sky, because the ground was really just another sky. Wang Lin was stunned for a moment, then recovered his calmness. The moment before he was transferred here, he remembered that the voice said that he would be transferred to the edge of the Qi Sea. With that sentence, Wang Lin knew that this was the fourth realm. Only, the fourth realm didn't have any obstacles, it was only used as a transfer location. Wang Lin thought that he had already entered the body of the ancient god, just outside the Qi Sea. He pondered for a little and sighed. He never thought that among all the cultivators that tried, he would be the first to enter the land of the ancient god. Before the third trial, Wang Lin still had some hope to enter the land of the ancient god, but now, 
he felt that this place wasn't a place filled with treasure and immortal pills like Duan Mu had said. Especially at the third trial exit, when all those demons like Hunchback Meng appeared, caused Wang Lin to feel like there was a large rock weighing down his heart. Wang Lin had a feeling that he had entered a place he wasn't supposed to enter. Especially the naked ecstasy in the eyes of those demons as they looked at Wang Lin. He was very smart, and after analyzing it once, he realized it must have had something to do with what that large soul who was almost a soul devourer said before, only Hunchback Meng and one other appeared, but as I was about to leave, so many suddenly appeared. They must be after me. It seems to have something to do with that large soul realizing my identity of a soul devourer. As Wang Lin was thinking, his body never stopped moving forward. He felt that those demons wouldn't give up so easily, and may suddenly appear in front of him. What Wang Lin needed to do now was to quickly leave this strange land of the ancient god. It was silent. The technique had been verified, but it was not necessary to leave this place yet. First, Wang Lin wanted to see if it was possible to enter the heaven-defying bead space. If he could enter the heaven-defying bead space, then his chance of escape would increase a lot. He moved his hand from his brow. His expression was calm, but there was hint of surprise in his eyes. There were no restrictions in the heaven-defying bead space. It could be entered at any time. Wang Lin let out a breath of relief. He waved his right hand and took out ancient emperor's bag of holding. With a scan of his divine sense, a resisting force came from the bag. The bag of holding's divine sense blocked out Wang Lin's divine sense. This meant that ancient emperor was still alive, but Wang Lin wasn't sure about the situation himself. Back then, Hunchback Meng's bag of holding had lost its divine sense, but Hunchback Meng still seemed to be alive. Now Wang Lin had two bag of holdings he couldn't open. One of them was ancient emperors, and the other was the one he found in a cave at the Shinto War Shrine from a mysterious skeleton. Both bags of holding still held the divine sense of the previous master. With that there, Wang Lin couldn't access the bags. Wang Lin wasn't in a rush, he touched the bag of holding and surrounded it with his own divine sense to prevent ancient emperor from sensing it. After he finished this, he took a deep breath and darted like an arrow into the distance. His target was the ancient god Sea of Knowledge. He did, after all, received a piece of jade to make a restriction flag, and the material required to make it was within the Sea of Knowledge. After running quickly through this space that had no difference between earth and sky, Wang Lin still couldn't see the edge of the sky. He remembered that Duan Mu and the others had said that the body of an ancient god was very large. A mature ancient god was larger than the entire Suzaku star. Even just traveling between two blood vessels, the distance was unimaginable. Although the area was large, there was no life or any restrictions, just silence. Wang Lin didn't make any stops and continued forward. In the ancient god's body, there weren't any restrictions on one's divine sense, just like the outside world. Wang Lin's soul received a lot of nourishment in the third realm, especially that large soul that was almost a soul devourer, that allowed Wang Lin's soul to grow by leaps and bounds. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.